So guys, I'm going to assume that you already have a CFW or HEN PS3 and if you're using HEN, you want to enable HEN. So now we're going to go to settings. So we're going to go to the left and then go to settings. Now once you're on the settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on network settings. And now once you're on this, make sure that your internet connection has been enabled and make sure that you've already set up your internet connection. If you have not set up your internet connection, whether that be wireless or ethernet, then you want to click on internet connection settings and you want to set up your internet connection. And now after you set up your internet connection, you want to go up and then click on settings and connection status list. And then once this comes up, it should now be showing your IP address. You want to remember your IP address. This is very important for the next step. I recommend just writing it down. So now once you know where your IP address is, we're now going to open up Multiman. I assume that you already have that installed as well. So we're going to go back. We're going to go up and we're going to go to game. We're now going to find Multiman. Here it is. You want to click on Multiman. And now once we're in Multiman, you want to be in this screen right here. If it does not look like this, you want to click on L1 on your controller. It's going to switch the display. So keep on switching your display till it looks like this or it looks like the other one that I just showed you right now. Let me show you. So it could be like this right here, the dark one, or it can be the blue one like this. So now once we're in this, we're just going to go to settings. We're going to scroll down until we find FTP service. You want to click on this. Make sure that you have enable no timeout selected. You want to select enable no timeout. Also, it's going to be showing your IP address in the bottom left. So if you forgot where it was earlier, it's going to be showing it to you again. You want to take a note of that. Now, we're just going to go to our computer. Also, you must keep your PS3 turned on and you must be in the Multiman page. Again, do not shut down your PS3. Keep it turned on and you want to remain in the Multiman page. The page that we're on right now on our PS3. Now, we're just going to go to our computer. Now you want to open up FileZilla. If you don't have it installed, there's going to be a link to it down below in the description. You can go with 64 bit if you're using that or x86. You can just get one of these downloads right here. So now, once you download FileZilla and we're now on FileZilla, if we look in the top left, it's going to be saying host. You want to type in your IP address that we saw earlier on the PS3. So for me, my IP is going to be 192.168.1.220. Now you want to click on quick connect and now this will come up. You want to click on dev underscore hdd zero. You can put your package files into packages. So if you double click on that, you can transfer your package files into packages. If we go back, you can transfer your ISO. So if you go to PS3 ISO, you want to transfer that over here. And yeah, that's how you do it. There's also more options like PS2 ISO, PSP ISO, etc. But I just showed you for packages and for PS3 ISO. And now, once you've transferred your PKG or your ISO, let's say that you transferred your ISO, you want to go over to Game, and then click on Refresh, then it should appear right here. If it does not appear here, then we're going to go to MMCM, so on the left, and you want to find File Manager forward slash MMOS. You want to click on this. And now, you want to use L3 and R3 to control this to move your cursor. So now you want to double click on PS3 root. And now this will come up. You want to click on dev underscore HDD zero. And now you want to click on PS3 ISO. And you can now choose the ISO file that you transferred over and it's going to run it for you. So now we're just going to exit out of Multiman. So you want to click on L1 until you get back to the other screen. So let's go back to the blue screen let's go back to the other one this one right here now we're going to go back to mmcm we're going to scroll down and then click on quit and then click on yes which will now take us back to the main menu and now once we're back on our dashboard we're just going to go up and then your installed iso file should appear right here and you should be able to play it this is not a video that's going to show you any piracy or anything like that you must legally own the games so your game should appear right here once you transfer it over and you can then play it. 
Now, if you install the PKG file, then you want to go on the game and then click on Package Manager. And now you want to scroll down and then click on Install Package Files. Now you want to click on PS3 System Storage. And if you transferred any package files into the package folder, they're going to appear right here and you can install them. That's how you do it.